In this video, you will learn the different ways you can create a purchase order in Mito. We'll start by creating a new purchase order from scratch. Navigate to the Stock Control menu and select Add New Purchase Order. Select the warehouse the stock will be going to. You can add or update warehouses from the Manage Locations link. Next, set your supplier. You can add supplies in this page by clicking the New Supplier link and adding in the supply details. If you do this, we recommend going into the supplier page once done to populate more of your supplier's information. The currency and exchange rate will be added automatically depending on the currency in your control panel and that of your supplier. Enter a required date if you need, as well as a supplier reference number and any additional comments. Then click the Next button. Your purchase order will be created in the draft status. This status allows you to build your purchase order without finalising anything or affecting the incoming quantity. You now need to add your products by searching for the name or SKU, adding the quantity, adjusting the supply price if needed, and then clicking the Add button. You can also press Tab on your keyboard to cycle through the fields and press Enter to add the product line to your purchase order. You'll notice that when each product is added, a confirmation box appears in the top right. Your purchase order is also automatically saved approximately every 10 seconds as well. You can also add products to a purchase order or create a new purchase order from the product page. Navigate to the Products Active menu and use the filters to show only the products that you want on the purchase order. In this example, I'm also increasing the products per page to add as many products as I can at once. You can then select all of the products and at the bottom of the page, click the With Selected button and choose Add to Purchase Order. In the pop-up window, choose to add them to a new or existing order. If you choose Existing, you can select any purchase orders in the Draft, Approved or Sent status. Click Confirm and the products will be added to a new or existing purchase order. You can add up to 2,000 order lines in total to any individual purchase order. You can now edit the purchase order details and adjust the quantities and supply price to your liking. To scroll through the pages, click the Next and Previous buttons below the order line grid. You can also sort your columns by clicking on the column headers. Once all of your products are added, click the Approve button. Your purchase order will now update the incoming quantity on your products to account for the stock on this purchase order. When you're ready to send it, click the email button to send it to your supplier from your Neato control panel. You can edit any of the fields to your liking and click the send email button. This will mark your purchase order as sent. If you need to submit it in a different way, you can print the purchase order and click the mark as sent button. Another way you can create a purchase order is from your sales orders. This is great if your supplier delivers quickly or you don't have a lot of storage space in your warehouse. Navigate to the Sales Orders menu and choose New. You can either select entire orders or individual product lines on the orders. At the bottom of the page, click the Create Purchase Orders button. Purchase orders are created for the primary suppliers of each of the product lines selected. So in this example, two purchase orders have been created, one for each supplier. Like creating purchase orders from products, you can now edit the purchase orders to your liking before approving it and sending it. The final way to create a purchase order is from the Forecast Demand Report. This report analyzes sales data and supplier lead time to calculate when you need to reorder stock to meet demand. Pick the items you wish to reorder by selecting the corresponding checkboxes. At the bottom of the page, click the With Selected button and choose Add to Purchase Order. Add the products to a new or existing purchase order and click the Confirm button. Like before, you can now edit the purchase order if needed, approve and send it to your supplier for fulfilment.